Hello, Highline. My name is Michael, and this is going to be a quick walkthrough of how to fill out the Access Services online application form. You'll want to start by going to any browser and go to the Access Services homepage at access.highline.edu. That will bring you to our Access Services homepage. From here, you can either go to New Students in this top menu bar, or you can click on Apply for Accommodations here in this green area, either bringing to the same place. So click on that. This will bring you to the Apply for Accommodations page, and then just go ahead and click on the Submit Application button. From here, you will need to log in to Highline's uh, services using the same login information used to log in for Canvas or anything like that. Same username and password. Takes just a moment to process the login, and then it loads the application page. So this is the application. It's fairly short. Uh, it's all on a single page. Start by putting in a little bit of personal information. Uh, the start term is not when you started at Highline, especially if you've been here for a little bit. It's when you would like to start your services. So it defaults to the current quarter or the upcoming quarter. Just uh, make sure that that's correct. You will not want to note that any items that have the red asterisk are required. So we need to have the, that information put in. Um, so we'll need your name and then your student ID. Um, gender is required. You can leave it as not specified, but feel free to let us know how you identify and the pronouns you would like to use so we know that you're address we're addressing you correctly. We'll need your phone number and your email address. Now, for you, you want to make sure that you use students.highline.edu. Um, I'm going to take the students part off of that because it won't work for me, but make sure you have that in on yours. And there's a little reminder underneath here. Then we'll just need a little information about what exactly you're looking for, uh, who you are and what you're looking for. So uh, if you're seeking a degree, you can let us know that. Um, if you know you're a running start student or you're working with TRIO or any of these other categories, um, feel free to let us know that so we know how best to help you. Campus location tells us where you're going to be attending the most classes. Many students are going to be here on the main Des Moines campus. Um, you may also be uh, going to the hub in Federal Way or off campus. We'd like to know how you heard about us. A lot of times students are recommended by uh, faculty or advisors, or um, they may have just seen, for instance, some of our posters around uh, campus. Um, what brings you to Access Services? Maybe you're just curious and you're looking for information, or maybe you've used accommodations in the past at another school and you know you'd like to here. Have you used accommodations in the past? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm going to say yes. It's different for every student, so I'm just going to say that for here as its demonstration. Um, please let us know the type and nature of your disability. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose ADHD, um, uh, and, but you, there are a number of options. And all of these end with specify below just to give us a little bit more information. So I'm going to just type here, this is a test entry. purposes. If you don't put any, because all of these say specify below, if you don't put anything in this box, you'll get an error and you'll need to come back and fill that out. So just be aware of that. And then functional limitations, if you have any, in this case, I'm going to say learning, like taking notes and testing, maybe a little bit of extra time would be helpful. Um, here, the additional notes are optional. Once you're done filling out everything, you can just hit the submit application down here at the bottom. And the application has been submitted. That's really all it takes. Once you see the application submitted sign, you know that you're done. We have the option to, um, to upload extra documentation. So if you have documentation from your prior school or from your medical care providers, you can upload that here or we can work with you on that later. In either case, you've done anything, you've done everything that has to be done for now. That's it, you're done. And we'll be getting a hold of you soon so we can schedule an appointment to talk to you and uh, get a little more information and make sure we have everything set up for you. So that's all it takes. If you do have any questions, please feel free to email us at access.highline.edu.
and we will do our best to help you out. Thank you very much. Welcome to Highline. We look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah.